Islet is a roll and move game. Roll two dice, make two moves. Count the number of holes, thread the lace through an empty one. You can move the same shoelace twice, or you can move each one. No one owns a lace. If you can't complete both moves, you lose. You're setting a trap for your opponent, but if they wiggle out of it, they hand that trap right back to you. When we first announced the game, people thought it was a joke. Like, they'd say, it'd be cool if this was real, and like, it is real. There's barely enough minutes in the day to work on real games, so trust me, I'm not going to spend my time working on fake ones. Certainly, if it was fake, I wouldn't be spending hours tying knots and shoelaces. So, for each of these sets, I am tying a small knot at one end so that the uh, string doesn't pull through the board. And these knots aren't going to be exactly the same, but that is that is part of the charm. If you think it takes me a while to tie these knots, I'm, I'm not particularly adept with shoelaces. Uh, in fact, <laughs> until I was in my 20s, and Mary was like, hey, stop wearing Velcro. I, uh, <laughs> I wore Velcro. Uh, I have my four knots, uh, four laces for the set, and we're going to spindle them so I can put them in the bag. Seal up the bag, and there we go. That's one down and a bunch more to go. If the game seems pretty simple, it is, but there's one more wrinkle. If you roll doubles, you get four moves, like in backgammon. Alternatively, once per game when you roll doubles, each player can add another lace to the board. Where to put it, when to do that, that's tricky, and I think it sharpens the tension. And that's my game, Islet. I think it's tense, but also kind of chill and relaxing. Maybe it's got a little... ASMR vibe? I don't know. Uh, here's this weird thing I made. I hope you like it.